Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to show you how to make this very quick and very easy logo. And this one is for an eyelash business. So if you have an eyelash business and you are looking um, to make a very quick, easy logo, then uh, please keep watching. Okay, so the very first step we need to do is to go to your PowerPoint presentation and open up a new presentation. So once you have that open, we are going to turn the background black. And to do that, you will go over here and you're going to choose, make sure it's on solid fill and then go to the color and then just select black. Okay, so now we have our black background. The next we need to start adding our, um, to adding our image. And in order to do that, go to the top and click insert, pictures, uh, online pictures and then in this box right here the Bing image search you're going to just type um, let's see eyelash clip art and then you'll find the image that you would like to use I'm going to just try to duplicate the one I did above so let me try and find that one so here it is so then you're just going to double click I am using a PC, so um, I'm not sure what the things are for a Mac, but um, you just need to go ahead and insert that image. Okay, so let's move it up some. All right, next we need to add the text. So we're going to add the text for the uh, name of the business. So I'm going to go to the top, hit insert, go over here and select text box. Just click here and we're going to name this the lash business this is a totally made up name so you add your business name here obviously all right so right now you need to highlight that and change the color so right now just to show you um i use a full um, pattern in my logo name but for now I'm just gonna change the text to a basic color that we can see so we'll just do white for now just so you can actually see it all right so I'm gonna move it here and then I'm going to size this um, up here to about 150 okay Gonna move that over and the font that I use in my sample is called Annie BTN so let's go back here and let's go ahead and change our font to that so I'm just gonna highlight it and go to the top and type in Annie BTN and this font should actually already be on your computer let's scoot that over okay so now how I got the full look is I went to text options so picture or texture fill and then go to insert and in the Bing image search we're going to type in gold foil And again, you can choose whichever one you like to use. I'm going to choose the one that I did above, and it was this one right here. So I just double clicked, and that actually changed um, my letters to that pattern. Okay, so now we need to add the name. So in order to do that, we're going to go to Insert, Text Box, click right here choose text options and go ahead and select our color and now I'll go ahead and start typing the name and now for this um, size of this font we're going to do about um, let's say about 75 and then let's move it over to center it and then the font for this is called Birds of Paradise. So you just go up here to the font box and start typing that in. 
So if you don't have this font already, um, you can go online and download it. And I can link where I actually got this font. All right, so now I'm just gonna start moving things around to the position of where I like them. Okay, and then last um, is to add the little heart on the side. So you just go to insert, shapes, and then you find a little heart shape. You just drag down, there's your little heart. Now I'm going to change the color. And for the heart, I want to do a slightly different pink. So I'm going to go to more colors, standard, and then try and find a lighter pink. So there you have one, let's put that over. Right click on it, copy, right click, paste. So now you have your second heart. Okay. And here's what the logo will look like on a white background. So in order to actually save this, you would just select the entire image, right click, and just click on save as picture. And then you can choose whether you want to save it as a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF, or whatever file you want to choose. If you want to have a transparent background so that you can use on any um, background color, you would definitely need to choose the PNG format. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was very useful. If it was, please like, comment, and share. And I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.